Yesterday, WWE had a superstore in conjunction with the Royal Rumble. And in fact, they sold out every last single solitary bit of Cody merchandise. He was far and away the top merchandise seller. Yes, more than Bray Wyatt, Alexa Bliss, and anyone else. He sold a lot of merch. So anyway, uh, we got the Royal Rumble. Is he going to win? Well, I don't know, but you know what? We got new we got new odds because we all love odds, don't we? And uh, and I got to say that uh, he's he's still uh, two th- two thirds. What does this mean? Two to three? What does that mean when you're two? See, I don't understand these uh, you know modern day odds. What does that mean? Two and three? <laughs> Wait, how how, what does how that mean? was it listed? It's listed two, th- three. It's like, is, is that good or bad? Two to, I know two and one would be two to one. Two to three, what is that? Is that good? It's one to one and a half. Well, anyway, he's, he's, that down. he's not as, uh, he's not as uh, uh, far and away, you know, the odds on favorites he was. <laughs> Sami Zayn is now two to one. The Rock is listed here as seven to two. I don't think the Rock's in the Royal Rumble, everybody. That's three but, and a half to one. But right. somehow everyone's uh, got that idea. Steve Austin, 10 to one. So uh, it looks like the, the, the odds on favorites are still Cody Rhodes and Sami Zayn. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I don't even know if Sami's in the Rumble. <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm ever going to get my voice back, by the way. We're going on three weeks now, and it's still not. It's still not what it once was. Still can't hit those. And actually, you know, I'm glad it's not what it once was. But I wish it was back to what it was like four weeks ago. But anyway, uh, we have still only 16 men announced for the Rumble and seven women. Bro, the Royal Rumble's tomorrow. We only have seven women, okay? Now, they do have more than 30 women. There's more than 30 women in town. But as of this morning, they still didn't know which 30 were going to be in the Women's Royal Rumble. They're still trying to figure that out. Because, you know, it's Friday. We, we still got another day. So they're going to really? figure that out. 32 hours away from this thing? Yeah, you got to figure this Whatever stuff out, you know. Jesus. I mean, I've seen... Uh, anyway. And then, you know, we've added, we've added Dominic to the Men's Rumble. So what, what are his odds right now? I, 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 I could look, actually. I, I need to know what. Uh, Let's see, Dominic Vatos Locos is. But I mean, they got guys like Jinder Mahal. Who I don't even think he's going to be in the Rumble. No, he's working with Indusheer right now, right? But uh, let's see, Dominic, Dominic, Dominic. Man, I don't even see Dominic on this list. That poor bloke. Damn. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait well, hold on. I mean, Tony D'Angelo's on the list. He is. Yeah, Ezekiel is on the list. <laughs> what about Elias? Uh, he's also on the list. What? I mean, it could be done. Do they have the same odds? No. Uh, Elias is uh, 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 250 to 1. Well, And actually, yeah. Ezekiel is now off the board. Oh. Yeah. That, that, that lingering injury, you know. He'd at one point been 40 to 1. <laughs> 40 to yeah. 1? Yeah. <laughs> Hope nobody got their future. Tyson Fury was that. off the board, but now he's 500 to 1. What about Tyson Kidd? Uh, not on, not on the board. Shankly is now two hundred fifty to one. Oh my god! So that's god, better. Fifty. But yeah, dude, I don't see Dominic anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, you know, mommy's odds are good for the women, right? So, so the they're best. doing this uh, storyline with Dominic and Ray that they've been doing for like five years now, and uh, we're at the point here where Ray has left uh, Monday Night Raw because he doesn't want to be around his son because he refuses to ever face his son, right? So today on SmackDown, it is scheduled to be Karrion Cross against Rey Mysterio the night before the Rumble. And I believe that Dominic is going to screw his father. And not only screw him, but this will lead to Karrion Cross injuring Rey. And so Rey is uh, perhaps not even able to enter the Royal Rumble. But yeah, that's a that's a theory. I mean, there's there's a lot of things they can do. I've heard other ideas as well. well I mean, you could which have involve Ray in the Rumble. Dominic screw him over, and then Ray k- throws Dominic out. You know, 
Yeah, so we're going to see... Uh... That way he can get a little bit of fatherly revenge without actually, like, you know, putting fisticuffs to him. You know, Dom could take a move from somebody else and... Or, you know, and... they could end up in that rumble together alone. That's... And then Ray has one, no choice. Two, like, axe and smash. Actually, he would have day. a choice. His choice would be, do I, do I fight my son here for a shot at the world championship, or do I just leap over the top rope to the outside? Well, we'll find out, everybody, but... Uh... Can't wait. Yeah. Rhea Ripley is uh, the odds-on favorite, followed by Raquel. And uh, they actually have Alexa at 15-2. and two. Although Bailey is 6-1 to one and Becky is 3-1. to one. So those are the uh, odds-on favorites in terms of uh, that. For the matches themselves, uh, Roman Reigns minus 1,000. Bianca Belair minus 1,000 now. And uh, Bray Wyatt minus 1,000. Those are the expected... Uh, winners of those top matches so do you have enough we'll time see. i guess in theory you do but you know could you actually foresee them like flipping raquel rodriguez heel since they seem to want charlotte to be a face they and then get well. her revved up and ready to go so you at least have that match which as you stated yesterday does not have to be a main event on either night or anything like that it's just got to be a title of defense but you know get raquel up there i don't think raquel is good. ready for a wrestlemania main event at this point in my opinion no 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 not a main event but just a match on the show well i think she'll have a match on the show i mean everyone's gonna have a match on the show will it be a singles Never match mind. i don't think <laughs> so but i mean hey it's only there, there's two nights of mania like she could do a match on 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 one of the shows a singles match but you know, I'm not I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at Bianca and uh and Becky and Bailey and Rhea. You know what I'm saying? Poor Steffi, every time she comes out she gets Poor Steffi, all right. Yeah. Any anyway, she, her and her dad were in the in the ring and he was oh, gonna it's give gonna her be quite a review a, tonight. He was gonna give her a trophy for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the good old days. And then uh, Shane tells his dad he wants to run Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this is insane. Meanwhile, right. there's gigantic news in the world of wrestling that we're not talking about because we've got to talk about a Raw from 25 years ago. Yes, Granny? Can I stay long enough to hear what the news is? I know what it is. Well, we don't know what the news is officially, Granny, so just tune in tomorrow. No. <laughs> what a crummy show. Oh. Wow! What do you want me to do about it? What the... If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.